Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham, India's leading multi-campus, multidisciplinary research academia, accredited A++ by NEAC. Amrita is the fifth best university as accredited by NIRF and takes pride in being one of the top research institutions in India. We have six campuses spread across three Indian states, each with the best infrastructure, labs and modern facilities. Amrita has grown into one of India's fastest growing higher education institutions, having 160 plus strong partnerships with Ivy League universities in the United States and top European universities for frequent student exchange programs. Amrita has always encouraged the growth of knowledge and research to lead to a positive impact on society on a national and global scale. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham boasts of a well-planned campus infrastructure with research centers in emerging technologies, modern labs, well-stocked library and sports facilities. In 2021, Amrita School of Engineering placed 88% of its students with the highest CTC of 56.95 lakhs per annum. It has also tied up with 114 plus companies including reputed MNCs offering placement options. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham has an advanced e-learning environment with updated laboratories, design tools and software packages. Amrita also offers international and national internships to its eligible students with over 511 total internships and 200 plus students studying at foreign universities each year. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham also conducts transformative campaigns like Margdarshi, Career Conclave, Career Guidance Sessions, Engineering Foundation Program, JEE Practice Sessions, Algo Queen, Masterclass on Emotional Intelligence, Educative Webinars, etc. that are beneficial to students and teachers worldwide. Amrita has also taken initiative for research-based initiatives that benefit the society as a whole like HUT Labs, Live-in Labs and more. Our focus at Amrita is on fulfilling goals to maximize the transformative impact of value-based education today and in the future. Hi, this is Kavya, currently working as Software Engineer in Cisco Systems. I did my B.Tech in Computer Science from Amrita during 2016 to 2015. Various labs and clubs in Amrita always encourage students to go the extra mile and explore new ways of learning and problem solving. To not let financial difficulties hinder a student's studies, Amrita provides Amrita Vidya Niti, a scholarship scheme that awards scholarship contribution fees based on the student's rank in HEE. This scholarship has three categories. 90%, 50%, and 25%. Based on the rank I secured in HEE, I was awarded with a 50% scholarship. Amrita has always prepared me well for the corporate life. Amrita CIR provides training to all the students to get them the best offers in the industry. They also help students in getting internships that provide hands-on industry experience. I also got an internship in my third year that got converted into a pre-placement offer at Cisco. Amrita's B.Tech course has bought, brought me where I am today. I am forever grateful for Amrita and its faculty. I would recommend you to choose Amrita as well. All the best.
Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetham, India's leading multi-campus, multidisciplinary research academy, accredited A++ by NEAC. Amrita is the fifth best university as accredited by NIRF and takes pride in being one of the top research institutions in India. We have six campuses spread across three Indian states, each with the best infrastructure, labs and modern facilities. Amrita has grown into one of India's fastest growing higher education institutions, having 160 plus strong partnerships with Ivy League universities in the United States and top European universities for frequent student exchange programs. Amrita has always encouraged the growth of knowledge and research to lead to a positive impact on society on a national and global scale. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham boasts of a well-planned campus infrastructure with research centers in emerging technologies, modern labs, well-stocked library and sports facilities. In 2021, Amrita School of Engineering placed 88% of its students with the highest CTC of 56.95 lakhs per annum. It has also tied up with 114 plus companies including reputed MNCs offering placement options. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham has an advanced e-learning environment with updated laboratories, design tools and software packages. Amrita also offers international and national internships to its eligible students with over 511 total internships and 200 plus students studying at foreign universities each year. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham also conducts transformative campaigns like Margdarshi, Career Conclave, Career Guidance Sessions, Engineering Foundation Program, JEE Practice Sessions, Algo Queen, Masterclass on Emotional Intelligence, Educative Webinars, etc. that are beneficial to students and teachers worldwide. Amrita has also taken initiative for research-based initiatives that benefit the society as a whole like HUT Labs, live -in Labs and more. Our focus at Amrita is on fulfilling goals to maximize the transformative impact of value-based education today and in the future. Hi, this is Kavya, currently working as Software Engineer in Cisco Systems. I did my B.Tech in Computer Science from Amrita during 2016 to 2015. Various labs and clubs in Amrita always encourage students to go the extra mile and explore new ways of learning and problem solving. To not let financial difficulties hinder a student's studies, Amrita provides Amrita Vidyanthi, a scholarship scheme that awards scholarship contribution fees based on the student's rank in HWE. This scholarship has three categories. 90%, 50%, and 25%. Based on the rank I secured in HCP, I was awarded with a 50% scholarship. Amrita has always prepared me well for the corporate life. Amrita CIR provides training to all the students to get them the best offers in the industry. They also help students in getting internships that provide hands on industry experience. I also got an internship in my third year that got converted into a pre placement offer at Cisco. Amrita's B.Tech course has bought, brought me where I am today. I am forever grateful for Amrita and its faculty. I would recommend you to choose Amrita as well. All the best.
Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetham, India's leading multi-campus, multidisciplinary research academia, accredited A++ by NEAC. Amrita is the fifth best university as accredited by NIRF and takes pride in being one of the top research institutions in India. We have six campuses spread across three Indian states, each with the best infrastructure, labs and modern facilities. Amrita has grown into one of India's fastest growing higher education institutions, having 160 plus strong partnerships with Ivy League universities in the United States and top European universities for frequent student exchange programs. Amrita has always encouraged the growth of knowledge and research to lead to a positive impact on society on a national and global scale. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham boasts of a well-planned campus infrastructure with research centers in emerging technologies, modern labs, well-stocked library and sports facilities. In 2021, Amrita School of Engineering placed 88% of its students with the highest CTC of 56.95 lakhs per annum. It has also tied up with 114 plus companies including reputed MNCs offering placement options. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham has an advanced e-learning environment with updated laboratories, design tools and software packages. Amrita also offers international and national internships to its eligible students with over 511 total internships and 200 plus students studying at foreign universities each year. Amrita Vishwavidya Peetham also conducts transformative campaigns like Margdarshi, Career Conclave, Career Guidance Sessions, Engineering Foundation Program, JEE Practice Sessions, Algo Queen, Masterclass on Emotional Intelligence, Educative Webinars, etc. that are beneficial to students and teachers worldwide. Amrita has also taken initiative for research-based initiatives that benefit the society as a whole like HUT Labs, Live-In Labs and more. Our focus at Amrita is on fulfilling goals to maximize the transformative impact of value-based education today and in the future. A warm good evening all. Welcome to today's discussion on introducing minors and specialization at Amrita School of Engineering. This year, we are pleased to announce that the introduction of minors and specialization for different courses that we are offering at Amrita that will allow the BTEC students to take a minor degree in a branch other than their original stream. For discussing more about this, we are having Sri Maheshra Chaitanya, who currently serves as the Director of Admissions at Amrita Vishwavidya Peter. He has more than 15 years of experience as an academician in the field of computer science and engineering. He is also the contest director of Asia Amritapuri ICPC regional site and also the deputy controller of examination. So before getting into the session, students, if you have any queries, you can just type it in our chat box. We will discuss it at the end of the session. Without further ado, I would like to welcome Sri Maheshwar Chaidinya to deliver this session. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Parvati, and uh, I hope I'm audible here and you can see my screen. <clears throat> so 
so i thought i'll just uh, stop the sharing and share once more because i just forgot to enable the the sound of the computer okay so we are good to go now so you can see on on the slide uh, we are talking about uh, btech multi degree multi degree is nothing but uh, one more additional degree we call it as a minor uh, along with the major degree and a major degree is the uh, the branch or the specialized not specialization the branch you choose you will learn about that more in the in the upcoming slides so today uh, i will not be talking from the from uh, a marketing point of view rather it, it is uh, fully from the academic point of view uh, because this is uh, mostly towards your your degree uh, and uh, how you can craft your entire curriculum before you pass out from btech this is also interesting for those students who want to pursue any undergraduate program it is not just uh, uh, i would say engineering program but any program that has minor and what all are the advantages and we we are closely aligning this with the nep 2020 vision and why is it so because <clears throat> Uh, now that ugc has uh, already declared that you can do two degrees multiple degrees at the same time first thing second thing is uh, once you enter into any program any undergraduate program in the in the first year if you complete first year you will have a uh, certification the second year you will have a diploma and third year you will have a degree three year degree and fourth year if you if you step into fourth year it will be an honors program and in fact fifth year it will be an integrated program so this is how the the uh, entire the structure of a program is crafted by ugc so that is why uh, minor programs are most important for those who want multiple specializations when you join any undergraduate degree <clears throat> so i will the st uh, start about the the technological advancements <clears throat> and why is it important to have knowledge from two different domains so this is this is being taken directly from the uh, what do you say i would say it is uh, it is it is directly from ieee spectrum ieee spe spectrum is nothing but it is all about uh, the uh, international engineering engineering that the domain and it says that today's robotic surgery turns surgical trainees into spectators and what does it mean it means that uh, a surgeon <clears throat> we know we all know that a surgeon uh starts with mbbs then goes for md or ms then do uh, does M, uh, mch and fundamentally that uh, the the a surgeon has the biological background <clears throat> the base is biology now a surgeon is working with a machine <clears throat> and for for what purpose a doctor is working with a machine for surgery and you can see on the right side the dominant player in the robotic surgery industry is intuitive surgical it is a company name which has got more than 6700 da vinci machines da vinci machines is nothing but a ro robotic surgeon you can see this in on the screen you can see the label da vinci in fact we have a, uh, we have a multi speciality hospital in cochin in kerala and there we have three robotic surgeons three robotic surgeons to do the surgery for the cancer patients so that is so precise it is so precise and uh, 6700 da vinci machines in the hospitals around the world and the robots four arms can all be controlled by a single surgeon so you just can imagine a machine controlled by a human being so that forms the basics a basis of our discussion a biology student who is expected to understand how a machine works and that too for a precise surgery <clears throat> so what is the kind of interaction what is the kind of training required for a surgeon to do a robotic surgery that is the first point so let us move to, move to the second point <clears throat> switzerland moves ahead with underground autonomous cargo delivery this is imagine underground autonomous cargo delivery after half a decade of the studies <clears throat> cargo sourced terrain is ready to start on its first tunnel and what is it it, it is the idea behind csc is to provide for a long term freight transport without relying on the expansion of road 
so there is no concept of expansion of road and this is mostly for the civil engineers civil engineers who wants to integrate technology <clears throat> to track uh, to tr to build a tunnel a smart tunnel that will detect the movement of the cargo vehicles so this is another thing so uh, what i wanted to say here is conventional engineering is no more conventional engineering it is not just limited to one specific branch or domain it is spread across multiple branches now the second is this you can you can see this <clears throat> will ai artificial intelligence steal the submarine's stealth so this is a chinese submarine and that is being built built to understand the what is happening in the surroundings now if you if you read the text better detection will make the oceans transparent and perhaps doom mutually assured destruction that also is possible new sensing methods have potential to make submarines more visible no one of them can do the job of its own what might uh, what make them work together is the master of technology of our time that is artificial intelligence and they can now be detected by tiny amounts of radiation and chemicals they emit by slight disturbances in the earth's magnetic fields and by reflected uh, light from the laser or led spaces so this is a 2.2 meter uh, uh, submersible made by one of the chinese companies so that is the way in which it is growing finally what happens you want to be a mechanical engineer and you want to be part of a manufacturing company manufacturing companies is one of the ship manufacturing companies or in a government sector but you are expected to understand how sensors work and how it will help your project so again this this forms the basis of our discussion today self driving car work better with smart roads <clears throat> so this is the concept of intelligent infrastructure that makes autonomous driving safe and less expensive so this is a test unit in shanghai again detecting and tracking the uh, tra uh, tracking the traffic merging from side road to a major road so everywhere there is a camera everywhere there are sensors to detect the movement of the vehicle <coughs> so again this is self driving car there is no human being but again it is controlled by machines but used by the human beings so this is how the things have changed now and all the future engineers what exactly is the role of engineer an engineer is not just a software engineer an engineer is not just a mechanical engineer or aerospace engineer what exactly they do <clears throat> they do <clears throat> it is primarily research and innovation research and innovation as we uh, saw these slides previous slides or it, it takes almost like 10 years 10 years to come up with an innovative idea how you solve a problem and think critically <clears throat> how you design a solution and you build the prototype of the solution now testing the solution is important and finally you deploy it <clears throat> now imagine indian railways <clears throat> recently we saw that they have found a solution where two trains on the same track coming from both opposite direction they will not collide it's a technology it is research it is part of research and innovation it is solving a problem thinking critically and somebody has to design the solution build the prototype of the solution test the solution and then deploy it so this is how the the role of engineer engineers is changing now what is what exactly is engineering now you see <laughs> building a, a challenging bridge railway bridge in kashmir across the mountains so you think of a, the civil engineer who has to design the bridge and it is not just easy you have to think from different dimensions we all know that there are different flyovers that collapsed recently in different locations not just in india but abroad also recently in the us uh, one train caught fire in the bridge on the bridge on 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 the uh, while uh, you know it was passing over the river and the passengers have to jump to the river <clears throat> now on the right hand side you can see pamben bridge that is in rameswaram and that is also uh, uh, considered as a miracle uh, that happened. i think uh, it it was built years and years back just below that you can see sofia world's first robot citizen 
and uh, uh, the citizen uh, sofia has facial expressions earlier the robots never had facial expressions based on the response based on the inputs taken by the robots on the right hand side on the top you can see an electric vehicle an ev ev that will rule our roads very soon it may be autonomous also it is connected with video cameras ultrasonic sensors and uh, uh, red radar sensors gps etc now you imagine um, a mechanical engineer who is expected to work in an automobile industry he is supposed to understand how the sensor networks work and just below that it is a car manufacturing concern probably it is the benz and you can see the robots assembling the cars now there is no human being but as an engineer let it be computer science engineer let it be electronics and communication any domain any engineering domain all are supposed to understand how the human beings can control the machines with the help of a software and how you interpret data in such a way that you can emerge into valuable decisions now this is a, a, a recent news again research and innovation hindustan aeronautics limited is creating gaganyaan crew module first indigenous spacecraft to launch indian astronauts to into space and return them safely to earth can you just imagine can you just imagine as a normal as a common human being maybe 10 to 15 years back aircraft was a miracle for us now we see that isro is coming with coming up with a, with a, with a research that anybody who wants to travel to mars to space and just return on the right hand side there is a development all the projects are microsoft projects in fact this is all available in the website microsoft website bc cancer is developing cancer imaging just imagine cancer imaging and treatment tools to improve detection and assessment of tumors in the city images so you have a medical image medical image derived from a device and you have a software that will go through the image assess the image and make sure that there is no cancer or there is cancer or it will help the doctors to understand the st status of the patient so business data evolution uses ai to identify retinopathy prematurity a disorder affecting premature infants which can lead to blindness and you see the third one cascadia data alliance a regional data collaboration that focused on immune checkpoint inhibitors so these all are the ways in which computer science engineers will work closely with healthcare which means that a computer science engineer is expected to understand the healthcare domain so you just imagine instead of learning it after btech what will happen if the curriculum is embedded with all these different domains so that it becomes interdisciplinary <clears throat> this is how things work now let me take you to an old movie i am sure that some of you might have attended my previous session if it was a technological session i always show this movie this movie uh, is judgment day that is terminator 2 and arnold schwarzenegger is uh, playing the role of a robot you can just watch it and see how arnold is behaving to different inputs taken so let's just watch it
need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> forgot to say please. Take it! Take the man's wheel, son. Now get off before I put you down. That's it, goddammit. So basically, this is what a machine does to human beings. And you saw that the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He doesn't have any face, facial expressions. And it was uh, responding to what he listened. And, you know, uh, the <clears throat> matching of his dress, he wanted, a dress, he wanted a pair of dress and he found that this person is matching. And based on what he, uh, the, the robot analyzed, on what basis it decided that this, this dress is matching based on the data. So that is what you see on the screen, a, 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 com a computer or a robot, when, when, it, when it becomes a humanoid robot, basically there is intelligence working, it is ultimately AI that works and an AI can understand, predict or inform or guide us, guide the human beings. So that is what it says, you know, in the recent electric cars, <clears throat> you will see that a similar feature is there, a very similar feature that will help to identify the people in front of the car. So what I wanted to convey here is whatever you had in movies in the past, now it is all about the reality. So that is what I wanted to show here. The, uh, the, the data, whatever is acquired, acquired in the sense a robot can listen. Whatever is listened by the robot, it can process and it can act, it can react accordingly, it can respond accordingly. Exactly the same thing, whatever we saw in the movie, you can see in the car. So Im image processing happens in the car. So an automobile engineer is expected to understand how it works, then only he can manufacture a car, right? So this is the importance of learning different domains. Now, these are the engineering uh, branches, aerospace engineering, computer science, electronics, electrical engineering, mechanical, civil and chemical engineering. On the right hand side, you can see the different technologies or all these words you might have heard about uh, uh, AI, ML or data science, cyber security, 5G, wireless and mobile networks, electric cars and solar energy, drones, aircraft and missiles, then uh, satellites, automobile, robotics, automation, smart city, petrochemical industries. So these are the different areas in which uh, the, the engineers will work on. So how both these are connected. So you have something learned in the classroom, but you will implement it that with the help of these technologies. 
so technologies will keep emerging and as an engineer you are expected to keep yourself updated now i will just read this this is from amazon uh, web services the internet of things that is iot connects the physical world to the internet best example is alexa alexa is a physical device it is part of your life and it says it you uh, you can use the data from devices to increase the productivity and efficiency all kind of things are being used in iot applications including commercial devices such as traffic signals smart meters smart meters will help you to understand how much water you have used how much water has been consumed in a house or in an apartment it is a smart meter any device can be powered on could be part of an iot application it is already being used in transportation initiatives around the world through connected sensors and intelligent analytics even in, in your mobile phone you will find five different type of sensors to track your walking to track if you are running to track if you are cycling everything happens with the help of sensors and how do you think that a google fit application can generate data it is it is with the help of these sensors sensors plus computing sensor is a, again a hardware part computing is a software part so integration of bo both the hardware and software is now a reality and it is very essential once you search for a job after the btech degree so in this is here it starts the interdisciplinary study in engineering now what is the objective of minor degrees you will study some extra courses in the third and fourth year so minor degree comes with a package it's like a package it's like a module that module you connect with the main degree major degree major degree is computer science or electronics and communication or mechanical engineering and minor is healthcare system smart grid or electrical vehicles that those are minors so those are extra courses in the third and fourth year it carries credit it is an additional work for you but at the same time it is additional knowledge that is closely aligned with major course i mean with major degree you get to know about the other branches and domains <laughs> so somebody in in uh, electronics and communication who is closely working with the communication systems he will understand why communication like 5g is important in the healthcare domain just like we saw in the electric car or the autonomous car how image processing works and how that can be communicated via cloud so here is an example biology for engineers those who opt for csc or ai or ec will get an option to join healthcare minor so minor in healthcare how you apply all these major degrees in a domain robotics for mechanical or electrical engineers anybody can opt robotics because robotics from a computer science point of view it is intelligence robotics from a mechanical point of view it is manufacturing robotic from electrical point of view is powering the robot robotics from electronics and communications how robots communicate so when you think of robot it is a multidisciplinary domain completely multidisciplinary now ai and data science for mechanical or electrical engineers so somebody wants to be part of the power sector and he want to do data analysis at the same time he wants to understand about the electric machines now he can pursue electrical engineering along with that he can do ai and data science as minor so apply the core engineering concepts in different domains so it's all about application as i as i mentioned at the beginning role of an engineer is to do research and innovation and solve a problem solve a problem with critical thinking all these extra courses carry credits it is not just uh, uh, being taught it carries credit and it will be mentioned in your final certificate it is advantages for the placements so when you go for placements this is something which is extra you have done compared with others now let us jump into the the topic today electronics and communication is the first branch which i have taken here to explain 
here you can see almost all the uh, domains under uh, the communication the speed of the internet signal systems big data big data is you just think of a taxi app like uber or an ola how is it that a person who is trying to find out an ola cab is able to get the data on his mobile he will get the driver details review of the driver and he will get whether the vehicle is sedan or hatchback or or premium sedan and it will it will give you approximately what will be the cost and you have multiple options from where does this come from it comes from the internet and it is called as big data now you need networking for that without without data connectivity it is impossible you need internet and you need technology how you process it over a mobile app it's impossible it's very difficult because it happens everything happens on the cloud and when you are able to bring in multiple devices and you see the car is traveling it says that it will take 5 minutes to reach you it will take 2 minutes to reach you it will take 1 minute to reach you how so there is something connected with the car an app is tracking and the app is able to communicate with the consumer that okay this much of time is required and you manage the traffic so this is the whole world of communication so you you do a degree in electronics and communication major and do a minor in computer engineering or minor in aerospace communication systems is very very important and crucial it is critical in aircraft systems or you want to establish a chip design company you learn entrepreneurship you still have knowledge about communication systems or you want to work with the sustainable development domain or you want to part of in industrial engineering mobile manufacturing companies you want to become part of the electric vehicles we saw how electric vehicles work or again back to healthcare systems biomedical connecting the, the, the different types of machines in the hospital with the computer bringing out different type of outputs useful for the patients the hospital and overall the society now electrical and computer here the name itself says that both electrical engineering and computer engineering is both related <clears throat> so computer engineer is again a part of this all these almost all the all the uh, minor programs whatever we i we spoke about in, in ece same is available here because you see even a mobile phone you whenever we talk about device you can just think about the mobile phone a mobile phone cannot work without power a robot cannot work a drone cannot work so power is an essential element don't think that cse only the cse students will get a job or only the stu cse students can perform no 100% not because even to for a laptop to work you need power it is not not just the software that is required now when you come to electrical engineering you you see the picture on the right hand side connected vehicles again you come back to ola or uber a network of vehicles where it will have the connectivity where it can be tracked and an electronic electrical engineer wants to work with iot internet of things or he want to analyze the data generated by the sensors in all these vehicles he want to be part of automobile engineering company or he want to master ai and, and ml and work in electrical engineering domain or he want to pursue again a computer science degree with core algorithms or computing etc you you hear about quantum computing you hear hear about uh, uh, edge computing all these are emerging now so uh, you just cannot keep the software away but at the same time you must have the actual knowledge on how the devices function that is very very important now civil engineering this is the bundelkhand uh, uh, the the express way that was recently uh, inaugurated by our prime minister you just see the design of this how this this entire 
land <coughs> was converted to this kind of expressway. And recently, the, again, the news came saying that there were some issues with regard to the build and after one week of time, uh, some of the some part of it collapsed. So you need critical thinking while solving a problem. So being a civil engineer, you can always go for geotechnical engineering or you want to be part of water resources engineering or environmental engineering with sustainable development, structural engineering. So all these are subdomains where you will master with one of the major degrees like civil engineering and take minor degrees in all this. So geoinformatics is one, again, uh, one of the important aspects closely related with the prediction of the weather or you want to predict a natural calamity. So you want to build a, a bridge where the, 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 that occasion itself may fall prey to these landslides. So you, you must understand the connection between why we need a technology to understand the, the location and it has the previous history. You, you take the Google Maps. Google Maps will give you maximum information about the specific location, the distance. So all these are interrelated and that is why we call as interdisciplinary. Now let us take chemical engineering. Chemical engineering is one of the important domains now because of the petrochemical industries that has been evolving. And now India has started even manufacturing of the lithium batteries. You need a nano science, you need nanotechnology. You need people who are experts in biochemical engineering. And everywhere you can see Amrita Vishwa Vidya Bhitam is again for sustainable technology. Across all the branches, you can see sustainable technology. Because you see the climate change, the temperature in Europe, the way in which the weather is uh, responding, the, the nature is responding now. So sustainable development is very important in the coming years. Now, finally, CAC AI, you, you just think, see, CAC AI is major and minor in just the opposite thing, material science, life science, robotics and smart materials. So this is how we have crafted different major degrees and different minor degrees. So this will be part of the curriculum for those who join uh, the BTEC program at Amrita right from 2022. But this will be uh, in action till uh, by, by 2024 or 25. So CSE AI or CSE, this, this is CSE. I'm sorry for the uh, mistake on this side. This is CSE. So you expertise in healthcare technology. You are expert in remote sensing. You just think financial analytics. So a computer science engineer will have to understand how the finance part work. Mobility engineer, robotics and automation digital and twin digital transformation, gaming technology, even mathematics and computing and blockchain. So in today's world, where the technologies keep advancing every day and the role of engineers is to solve a problem with the help of a tool and technology, you need knowledge from multiple domains. One major degree is not just enough. There are students who want to pursue just with one degree. That also is fine. But at the same time, if you want to have an interdisciplinary knowledge, it is always better to go with major and minor degrees. So let me conclude today. Minor degrees are closely aligned with the NEP 2020 policies. You will have to put on extra work, extra effort to get those degrees as it is more about courses and credits. So thank you for listening. Uh, thanks a lot. I hope it was not boring and it was useful. Now I'll be ready to take some questions. Yes, sir. So uh, there is one question that uh, should I take mechanical or e to work as an electric vehicle engineer? Uh, sorry, uh, Parvati, should, should I? Should I take a mechanical or e uh, to work as an electric vehicle engineer? 
uh, see there are two different things uh, one is if you are an uh, uh, if if you are pursuing electrical engineering you will you will be part of the uh, the the automobile engineering team where the vehicle requires power or you will be totally into ev vehicles so both the both these domains are in closely interrelated mechanical engineer will have a very sound uh you know background or knowledge on how the 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 vehicle can be manufactured for example we saw this this slide a robot is man is assembling a car so to assemble a car you have to you want to manufacture the the uh, what do you say the parts first now who will decide on what type of material is required to manufacture that part and if that material once you decide you can take the help of a 3d printer then once the 3d printer is set it can manufacture and the robot can start assembling so that is mechanical engineering electrical engineer is once it is uh, you know built the vehicle is built the power part is to be designed by the electrical engineer so there is one uh, question first explain the future of every stream it will be very difficult arvind because it will, it will take a lot of time uh, i i would suggest uh, you going to our youtube channel we have done quite a lot of uh, webinars on this so which minors should i pursue if i am opting my majors as biotechnology well it's a very good question to be uh, basically if you are pursuing biotechnology uh, genome sequencing uh, that is closely related with ai and machine learning so that will be the best for you because drug design prediction of drugs everything happens with the help of ai in csc which specialization is is bitter not bitter better csc uh, specialization i would suggest uh, it totally depends on your passion but csc itself is good because why i am saying is uh, by third year <coughs> you will get option to choose uh, specializations whether you want to specialize in image processing or you want to specialize in cyber security or in ai or in data science so by third year you will understand so i am going to write phase 2 i want ec stream please guide me there is only one guide nitin you have to score high rank there is no other option is cyber security minus available yes it is available i want to join csc ai uh, i got 80 percentile in a triple e sir can i get seen seat in amaravati campus i am hoping you will get mahider uh, but uh, you will have to wait for the ranking to be published should i take mechanical or ec to work as electric i think uh, that has already been answered uh, in csc which specialization is better for future see let me tell you one thing uh, do not just jump blindly what i would suggest is based on the information i gave you you can do some online research anyway you have enough time there is no such specialization uh, which, is, which you say good specialization no it's not like that you just imagine the queries all the queries most of the queries uh, here it's all about cse can you imagine those students who attend je and join iit or nit or any premier institutions they all jump into computer science and what will happen after 4 years time what will happen for uh, mechanical engineers what will be the uh, the future of uh, csc uh, students see don't jump just without any conclusion every engineering branch is important every engineering branch has its own value but you must have that problem solving attitude you must have that problem solving skill that is very very crucial okay ec opportunities nitin uh, you just wait and see once the 5g is rolled out you will have plenty of opportunities with the help of iot uh, mostly in the healthcare sector uh, which minor can i pursue for bds communication design see there i don't i have not seen any curriculum for the bachelor of design uh, with minors because you have very few institutions offering this program and that too with minors you may have to do some searching i am sorry for that nitesri uh blockchain system so uh, surya uh, let me tell you one thing this session was not specifically for any technology 
but uh, i would suggest you go into uh, you know sites like upgrad or coursera blockchain is uh, is primarily <clears throat> uh, a block it can be used in cryptocurrency it can be used in used in metaverse but a block having its own identity and it is in the internet so now it is being used heavily in cryptocurrency that is why we call it as uh, uh, you know blockchain in cryptocurrency now the uh, cbsc exams these results is published with the help of blockchain technology because every document has its own identity which cannot be tampered <clears throat> is there any five year integrated programs available in the computer in computer science yes we do have what are the different combination of branches uh, which involve ai data science and machine learning as a minor so it all depends on your passion uh, krishna uh, because uh, if you go for communication you can still opt for ai and data science you have to decide the first major degree then you maybe after first year because this will start only in the third year you have two years to choose to think and choose i am going to phase 2 exam for how to prepare for it we every week we run practice exam the only way is to practice there is no cracking possible is there any possibility of opting uh, csc or ai data science or machine learning with 91.458 percentile krishna we are yet to start the seat allotment process uh, being a director i don't know how many students will register for seat allocation so it's all unpredictable all i can say is you must have you must take a chance civil engineering as major and my ai as minor no but there is geoinformatics that is closely related what are the options for minors in mechanical engineering major mechanical engineering major you can always opt for electrical vehicles robotics data science etc <laughs> is there any way to take environmental engineering as minor yes it is possible does bc have a minor yes ai cyber security and machine learning sir ec best or e cec is best see uh, as i said all the uh, branches are best provided you prove yourself with the skills is there any minor course for btech it no we don't have any it program now is there a minor course for aerospace engineering as the major we have not yet started but we'll be starting it maybe in the next year which minor course would you prefer assuming best in 2025 so sridhar that will totally depend on the major you choose for example if you uh, if you opt for mechanical engineering you can jump into automobiles you can uh, jump into electrical vehicles you can jump into robotics ananya which uh, one is better ec ece or triple e i hope you might have got some idea on both electrical engineering and uh, electronics so it's it's ultimately your passion as i said you can join any space research organization any communication company with both these degrees do we need to learn coding from the first year yes because it will help you to improve your logic what difference will be there in subjects csc and csc with specialization because specialization will naturally have uh, the the courses related with that specialization how to become a mechanical design engineer there are courses that will help you to improve your designing skills autocad is one of the softwares i am interested in robotics should i pursue robotics and automation as my undergraduate degree or it is better to do it as a master degree i will always recommend to do it as masters or minors not as specialization unless otherwise you are very clear that you want to become a robotics engineer uh how to become mechanical design engineer i think i have answered biotechnology is possible to start in coimbatore no it is all, only there in amrutpur will you give counseling for the students for minor courses if yes and which year you give it it will start in the second year how cs with minor uh, in financial analytics was because you will have to understand how the financial sector works and there are a lot of softwares lot of uh, analytics that will happen with the share and stock markets can i take minors in ai ml or data science if may, my major electrical yes it is possible uh, pursuing masters in bioinformatics which minors uh, 
see if, when you talk about informatics it is always better to go with data science or ai chances of getting seat in uh, computer and communication mokshit you have to uh, perform well in a triple e and register for the seat allotment process vedaswini uh, i think i have already answered your question biotechnology bsc and msc with phd possible to start in no is there an option to include category 5 also in csb yes we will include it mohan abhijit if i can take a chemical engineering can i do environmental engineering yeah yeah of course it is possible what computer language would you suggest python when you start counseling uh, maybe by uh, first week of august krishna um, i think that's it should we go with the flow or with passion very good question akshat vyas you must go with both you must have a balanced view because uh, you never expected that we will talk over zoom in 2019 we never expected that the teachers parents and students will have to communicate over teams or google meet so that is that is flow passion may be totally different but when you join the industry when you look for a job both matters quite a lot so i think i have answered almost all the questions so thank you for uh, the patient listening i hope the questions all are answered now uh, thank you so much parvati thank you sir thank you sir for joining us today and thank you all for joining us today this is parvati signing